Jesus Echevarri is running Echevarri Sports Academy at the Club Med Hotel in Marbella. He wanted to test some recent advanced player rackets. He is an ex-Futures player, now tennis coach, running the academy. And to do a perfect racket test, we should have strung up each racket with the same string. I did not have time for that, but they were all quality strings, and I think we got something out of this. So we tested a bunch of recent rackets, the Bablat Pure Aero Rafa Origin, which was more of a fun addition since it stands on its own with its uniquely heavy specification to match Rafa's own. We also included the Wilson Shift Pro, the 315 gram 99 square inch spin and control racket from Wilson. And one of the most popular rackets you see among advanced players these days, the Bowlat Pure Aero 98, as endorsed by Carlos Alcaraz, had to be included. And for a bit of a more controlled response, we had the latest Head Gravity Pro Oxetic as well. The shift was strong with Headhawk power at 53 pounds, the Bowlat Pure Aero 98 with RPM Blast 1.25 at 53 pounds, the Gravity Pro with a hybrid of Technifiber by Phase 130, at 55 pounds and Headhawk Power 125 at 53 pounds. And the Pure Aero Rafa was strung with RPM Blast 125 at 56 pounds. I used the Radical Pro strung with Headlinks Tour at 53 pounds. It was a very windy day and difficult to play, but you might be interested to hear some of our conclusions. All of these rackets are excellent rackets, but they suit different players and different tastes. So keep that in mind. Fellow tennis nerds, uh, compadres, we have uh, Jesus here who strings my rackets, but is also a very, very good tennis player. Uh, I also string myself, but he is a better string and also quite fast. So I really appreciate your, your help. We're going to test yeah. some rackets today. He's going to be nice enough to hit with me. And uh, this is where you're based, uh, Echevari, uh, your whole... Uh, Echevari uh, Sports, yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah. um, you do summer camps, you have uh, training sessions and everything here. Yeah, exactly. We're now arranging a bit the, the summer camp for the kids. Yeah. All the summer, July and August, every week. And then during the year we have a bit the, the competition group. Uh -huh. And then we also have in the afternoons uh, tennis and paddle group lessons. Very good, for yeah. Kids and, adults. and this is something if you travel to Marbella, can you you can stay in this hotel and play on these courts kind of yes, or, or in coach exactly. can go for yeah, sessions yeah. with you, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this is a great place. This this club is amazing. They have like every sport you can think about at Club Med, like archery, golf, uh, table tennis, everything pretty much. Hard courts, these beautiful clay courts. Uh, but today we're going to test some rackets. He has the Rafa Origin, which is the sledgehammer. He hasn't tried that before, as well as testing a few other rackets like the Shift. Vamos! Let's go! Uh, I used to play with the Lynx Tour. Good leg! Vamos! Nice! So how do you feel like all the first 10 minutes? It feels good? Yeah, it feels good. feels... Uh... It feels definitely a bit like it is heavy to move. Yeah. But it's more or less compact. Yeah. It's quite compact. The ball goes quite by good. itself, yeah. <laughs> I, I like it, I don't love it. Yeah. I think for the heaviness that it has, I don't feel that much of power or that the ball is really like I'm hitting and it's just like a wall what I have on my hand. Not that that compact for the heaviness of the racket. Yeah. As maybe, for example, when I tried Novak's, yeah. it feels really like, bah. it is nice. But I prefer, I think, I think the other racket gives a bit more. Yeah, the Aero 98, yeah, yeah. Maintains a lot that compact feeling. Yeah. And I move it a bit easier. <sighs> nice shot. I'm liking it more now. Yeah. yeah. Maybe because I was feeling very Tight Hold. in the beginning, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, like I felt my arm very stiff. Yeah. Let's see after a bit. I will try a bit the backhand. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Oh. Vamos. So it's very nice, but I need to be very loose and early. Yeah. Otherwise, it feels like Rafa's ball is gonna yeah. go. The, yeah, you can't the racket, be late, sorry. it's impossible. It's the shift 315, that's uh, a lot of people like it, but it's like it's very speedy. <sighs> feels much more like a toy, this. But I like it maybe more. 
Because you can swing it a bit. Yeah, easy. I like to move a lot. My yeah, yeah, I see when you game, right? Hand on the forehand, especially. I don't like when I cannot. Yeah, move this. get that rotation here. Yeah. Right? yeah. <clears throat> Good shot. It was, uh, it was, it was good. I liked it. Yeah. I feel uh, on the forehand I can move it more. It's true on the backhand, for example, the the rougher one. It, I can feel much more the compactness. Yeah. Uh, but it was overall quite a good racket. Few details here and there to be like, for me like wow, but very very good overall. It oh yeah. <laughs> I like this one, huh? Overall, a lot of control. Sorry. Arrow racket now. Yeah. Yeah, nice out. Sorry. My forehand, I feel I'm. Ball comes very controlled and nice. But I don't feel it's bouncing so fast. No, no. No, I, you, you, I also do. I feel it here on the other side. Like when you're playing with there, or it ball comes more on on me, right? Exactly. So. Amazing racket. <sighs> Oh, that's win. Wow. Oh. Nine. Wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, go for it. Nice. Okay, Jesus is going to try the different rackets with some serves. Overall, the arrow so far has been the most impressive one, uh, but he also he really enjoyed the shift and the gravity. And uh, it's, it's a tough choice. These are all good rackets, right? That's yeah. what you felt, right? Yeah, I think all of them, they're very, very similar uh, in terms of performance. It's a bit of taste. Yeah. I like that the ball, especially on my forehand, it comes out very nice and yeah. I can move it good. So the Gravity Pro was very, very solid over yeah. like a lot of control. And then with some shift, I could move it a bit better. And yeah, I think what people should realize is like, these are all quality rackets and that these are all pretty well, I mean, good rackets for the advanced player. Yeah. Uh, so it's all about the taste. Like how do you hit the ball? If you hit it with a lot of like spin and whip on the forehand, Maybe the gravity is not the best forehand racket for you if that's an important shot. You would maybe like the arrow or the extreme or even the shift. The shift is a little bit more forgiving. Uh, but if you want control and spin, they, they both the extreme and the arrow are good rackets. Exactly. No, they all perform same level, all are super quality racket. Let's do some serves. Would you ever want to go back to playing ITFs? Would that be interesting at some point? No. I'm um, past that. That stage of uh, my life. It's a, tough, it's a tough, tough journey then. It is. How tall are you? 190? Yeah, yeah. more or less. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really good angle. Ah! That was a good line. I'm not saying you're not serving worse with this racket for sure. No, I feel not. like you're moving the racket really nice through the contact, no? Yeah, no, it's very nice. I'll do some kicks. <laughs> Thing on the kick could be the difference. Yeah, you, you, the, the other one kicks up above that bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like that, yeah. Muchísimas gracias Thank you so much. for uh, all the tennis today, Jesus. Placer. Really nice to be here in uh, Club Med, amazing location. And check out Echevarria Sports uh, if you want like coaching here or join summer camp or just staying in this beautiful hotel. Uh, but about the rackets, um, you seem to have a pretty clear favorite in general, like how much the ball goes. And that's this one, right? Yes, the Pure is really, really nice overall. Just uh, forehand is so good. The ball comes with a lot of spin. Yeah. Uh, back and the same serve also the kick super nice so just an overall my favorite yeah yeah you could see it also and also when I'm hitting with you some balls how they you get more aggression on, yeah. on the on the shot yeah uh, we should have a small asterisk we did play with the arrow Rafa which is down there uh, but that one I think we both agree that it's it's like a fun racket to hit with yeah. but it's it's not for people that are not Rafa exactly you know? <laughs> exactly <laughs> like that like <laughs> the most specific description yeah yeah I would say but but um, and then similar racket to this is this one yeah super nice very good especially also on the server I was serving very good I think yeah serves. you were serving really well with that one yeah maybe. so really it moves like a bit one. faster yeah. but you get the most top spin on the kick with this one exactly. it feels like it really accelerates yeah. more like yeah, that for yeah. for a clay season I would play more on this one maybe yeah. indoor um, you can go yeah. that <laughs> it, it, it has like, a bit more of a, of a straightforward penetration of the shot like yeah. a little bit more through there yeah uh, well this one is a bit more if you want to have extra spin exactly. on the ball yeah, yeah. exactly it's had more power here i would say yeah and also these ones are great serving was very nice i th i think now for the serve these two were my my favorites yeah far from my yeah. favorite one kicking also was very nice i did a great kick with this one and and the flat and the slicers were going super good. This is a very dependable racket. The yeah. only thing I noticed with, with the, which we talked about before was that on your forehand you couldn't quite get the same acceleration because it's a quite heavy, you know, and high swing weight, like exactly. 330. So that acceleration, if you really depend on that, yeah. but if you play a bit flatter game, yeah. then think, it's very good. I think overall this is a great play, yeah, uh, yeah. racket that suits probably most of players in a way like... Most of both players, your, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your game style, you're going to be happy out of the court. Yeah. yeah. I agree. This racket. I 100% yeah, agree. Super good. This one is interesting, yeah. uh, but a little bit more in the middle of, I would say, these two rackets, kind exactly, of. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I think uh, on the forehand, especially for me, I liked it a bit more, but maybe now overall, I would say this perform a bit better. Yeah. Uh, for the serve, also a bit the backhand. Yeah. Uh, sensation of compactness on the ball. Yep. I yeah, that's think, important uh, too. Yeah. yeah, these three are slightly on top of uh, this one, but. All good, all, all good I rackets, really like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I said before is like there, there are no real bad rackets on the market today for an advanced player such as Jesus. You know, then you can customize if you want to do that. But these are all good choices. You know, you can't yeah. really go wrong if it feels good to you. I would really recommend like try to focus on what's your strength. How do you hit the ball? Like we talked about with his spin, he likes to hit a bit more on this forehand uh, with a bit more whip, and then he should go with a racket that you know helps you a bit with exactly. that. I think is generally exactly. the, the, yeah. the case. Cool, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Have a nice Hopefully day now. See you again. And don't forget to play some tennis.